When inspiration strikes and you want to make something happen, in this team, we have the ability, resources to go do it. Here, the mandate is think big. How can we disrupt ourselves? How can we disrupt the industry? Three years ago, we started on our uh, breakthrough innovation journey uh, within Stanley Black & Decker. We really operate more as a startup company. We look at large market opportunities, and then we try and match that up with enabling technologies, either technologies that already exist or ones that we need to go develop ourselves. Things like generative design allow us to implement, execute, and manufacture in a completely different fashion than we're thinking today. The crimper is a good part to start with because it's got a couple of unique requirements. Electricians that go out and they're in bucket trucks and they're using this product primarily overhead. It takes a tremendous amount of load, 15 tons, is how much force that crimper part has to take. And so obviously it's very heavy. Anytime you can take out weight from a, a customer or end user, that is critical to what we do and how we do it. I've always seen um, Autodesk as an innovation leader in this space, so it was a uh, great opportunity for a partnership. Having General Design as a tool set means we can now investigate 10 versions, 20 versions, 100 versions. The program itself can also give us some insight as to, hey, there's 100 ideas here, here are the 10 best that you should go and look at. The design phase is absolutely a success. I challenged ourselves, we thought differently, and we learned. The, this new part is about half the weight of the current part. It took maybe 20 hours to print. Our current part takes on upwards of more than five operations. The software uh, allows us to rapidly get to a new design and push the envelope. There's no doubt that Stanley Black & Decker could certainly integrate this in typical product development. Possibilities are really endless of where we can use this technology. 